This is part 51 of ASP.NET Core Blazor tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss how to install and set up ASP.NET Core identity in an existing Blazor application. In our upcoming videos, we'll discuss how to implement authentication and authorization using this identity API. ASP.NET Core identity is a membership system. It allows us to create, read, update and delete user accounts, supports account confirmation, authentication and authorization, password recovery, two-factor authentication. It also supports external login providers like Microsoft, Facebook, Google, Twitter, etc. We discussed ASP.NET Core identity in detail in our ASP.NET Core tutorial. If you're new to it, please check out our videos from part 65 of this ASP.NET Core tutorial. Here is our solution with four projects. We want to install and set up ASP.NET Core identity in our Blazor web project, employeemanagement.web. We're going to use Visual Studio Scaffolder for that. So right click on the Blazor project, add and select this option, new scaffolded item, identity and then click add. On this add identity dialog, check this checkbox, override all files. This is going to add all these views and the respective source code files to our project. So this allows us to modify these to meet our application specific requirements and then the data context class. If you already have one within your project, select it from this drop down list. Otherwise, click the plus sign. I'm going to accept the default name and then finally click add. This is going to take some time to scaffold all the identity files. There we go, scaffolding complete and the generated files are in this folder. Areas within that we have identity, pages, account and in this folder we have the razor pages that allows us to register a new account, login, logout, forgot password, account confirmation, etc. Our next step is to add a database migration to have the identity database tables generated. If you're new to migrations in EF Core, we discuss them in detail in part 50 of our ASP.NET Core tutorial for beginners course. To add a database migration, go to Package Manager Console and from this default project drop-down list, make sure your Blazor web project is selected, employeemanagement.web and the command to add a migration is add-migration and give this migration a meaningful name. I'm going to name it add identity support. There we go. The migration is added. Our next step is to apply this migration and the command for that is update database. There we go. Database migration successfully applied. Let's take a look at SQL Server Object Explorer, expand SQL Server, local db, MSSQL local db, databases and the database is employee management.web. How do I know this is the identity database? Well, that's because if we take a look at this file, identity hosting startup.cs, this is the file generated by the scaffolder. Notice the connection string is employee management web context connection and this is coming from app settings.json file. So if we take a look at app settings.json file. Notice the database name is employee management.web and within this database we have all the identity related tables like ASP.NET users, ASP.NET roles, ASP.NET user roles, etc. At this point we have ASP.NET Core identity integrated in our existing Blazor application. In our upcoming videos, we'll discuss implementing authentication and authorization. That's it in this video. Thank you for listening. One thing, one thing, one thing, one thing.